Hello, I'm Antandra, and today I'm going to show you a few different techniques for making your first beat in Ableton Live. So first off, we're going to start with a drum rack technique. So holding down Command and Shift on the Mac, Control Shift on the PC, I'm going to hit T to create a new track. Now I'm going to drag and drop this drum rack from Instruments onto this MIDI track, and that gives me all these drum pads here. So now I'm going to go down into my user library and I'm going to find, well actually I'm just going to search for the sounds that I want. So I'm going to type up here kick and now this will show me all my results for kick drums. So I can start going through here and it doesn't matter if it's a loop or just a single kick because we can edit it once it's in here. So I'm just going to take this kick for now and drop it in there. So now if I enable this track and if this this up here is enabled I can play my accordion keyboard on the laptop as a MIDI controller or you can connect a controller. I'm just lazy right now so I'm going to do it on the keyboard. There you go. So I can play the kick. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab another sample. This time I'm going to get a snare drum. That didn't sound like a snare. I know this is a snare. Or, you know, maybe I'll get like a uh, more of a, know, a clack sound. So I'm going to drag this clack. And now when I hit the W key on my keyboard, I will hit that note. Got to be the C3 octave, I believe, to hit that range. So, okay, so I have my, my kick, and my clack. Now I'm going to get a hi hat. Let's find one that you like and drag it in there to the next one. I'm going to get a closed one, and then I'm going to get an open hat. And now I'm going to open this little chain list on the side here. And I'm going to enable these ins and outs. And what I'm going to do is set up what is called a choke group. So at least for these hi-hats, I'm going to put them into group one. So only one can be played at a time. If I play the next one, it'll cut off the previous sound. So here we go. That way the open hat gets cut off by the closed one. So that's, that's a little trick there. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the metronome and I'm going to lay the first beat. but I'm going to go ahead and select everything and hit Command U to quantize. Actually, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go here to my quantize settings. Just did a control click there to get this menu. And I'm going to not quantize the end, so it only quantizes the start of the notes. And 16 is fine for this rhythm. I'm going to hit OK. This one went out of rhythm, so I'm just going to move that back. Same with this. Alright, so we got a good little foundation there. I can turn off the quick track. So now, if I wanted to add some extra notes, I can just hold Option and drag a note add some variation in here. Now if I select these three hi-hats and I hold down the command key, I can draw a slope like this to create some velocity variation. Now it won't make a difference unless you go in here and make sure that there's some some level here on the volume velocity. Otherwise they'll all be the same volume regardless. But since there is, I can go in here 
and I can program a more interesting human feeling pattern like, like this. Cool. So that's one method. Now, you know, you can also open this up and you have your individual sounds which you can process however you want. And that's all well and good. Now, another technique would be to just use individual sounds on audio tracks. And so what's cool about that is that you have different options when you just have the files as audio. So let's see, for that I'm going to drag in some other types of sounds like uh, conga. And I'm going to hit tab to go into the arrangement view. All right, so let's hear, I can actually slice this up now. This is actually a loop. So. I'm just going to slice it up manually by hitting Command E on the parts where I want to add little slices. Okay, so now that I've sliced that up, I could actually move different sounds to different layers and process them differently. change the rhythm around. You can even, if you hit Command J, it will consolidate a track. I can reverse this. Let's reverse one here so it leads into that. That. You don't have to consolidate to reverse, but consolidating has its purposes. Like, say I want to double this. Just hit that button. Actually, you don't need to consolidate to do that either, but I just like consolidating sometimes. Okay, so you can also Control click here and go show fades and then you can play around with the way things are fading. We can come down here and play with various warp modes. So if I change this to beats and I bring down the length here and change it to just play forward once. See, I could change this to 30 seconds. Get a strange stutter effect on the beat. It's all just about experimenting. I could slow this down or change the pitch. Come in here and edit the pitch envelope so then it's going to bend down you can drag up here to loop your beat Let's see if you drag this in and then turn loop on or you can just select an area and hit Command L and it will loop that area. Now I can group these tracks and process them all together if I want. So that's another fun technique. There's also 
making beats with the impulse device, which has its own advantages. So you can drag that in, put different samples in here, and it gives you other settings that you can play around with, like this time stretching, or this one over here for individual sounds. So that's another way. I'm not going to do that right now, but I encourage you to experiment with that too. You can also just toss a loop into the uh, simpler device. So if I find like a, a drum loop that I like, and I just, just drag that down here, now I can click on slice. And there we go. It sliced it all up for me so I can rejam that beat into this. Consolidate it down, and then you can do the show fades thing and fade it in like that. You can pitch this down an octave by holding shift and hitting the down arrow. Turn this to texture and play with these grain settings. Some weird effects that way. Start over. Uh, so this beat is landing in a weird place. So we're going to duplicate this over. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be lined up, I think. So that'll conclude this tutorial. I hope you learned something. And until next time, I'm Entendre. Check out my website, entendre.com. And please 
like and subscribe, and you can connect with me on social media. All right, take it easy.